this show is too difficult. I'm throwing in the towel. <laughs> Hi. Hello. What you doing? Uh, watching a show. Good answer. Will you watch this, please? Yeah, I will. Thank you. I have to be done by 8.10. Okay. You don't have to watch it the whole time. All right. <laughs> Just give it a glance every once in a while. Thank you so much for coming. That's my show. Have a wonderful evening. See you all later.
That trick sucks. That sucks, too. This part of the show isn't all it's chalked up to be. Will you hold on to the jokers, please? No fooling around. Good. Tell me when. Yeah. There? Uh, please look at the card. Show the card to the audience. Everybody got it? Yeah? OK. You. Oh, I'm I'm not really a magician. <laughs> This is the last straw. Really, they're really bad for the environment. Just stop using them. So I don't know if you noticed, but a couple things happen when I perform. The first is that I get nervous and I get super sweaty, and I'm sorry about that. And the second is that my hands start to shake, which is really unfortunate for a juggler. So I thought that I would put it to good use.
Where did that CD player go? Who's got it? Oh, um, we're gonna plug this in to the sound system and then everybody can hear it. This is Max, my sound man, thank you so much. Max, okay, so if you can plug that in and then we'll get the music so that everybody can hear it. You can play the first song when you're ready.
pour ma pia et plus que je faisais la bouche par les chambres et les rires. J'ai besoin de rencontrer ma fête, de me chister à la voix et le bébé. Mais dans le surtout, je dirais que vous êtes causés, je t'en veux plus. Ben, on a beau dire. The zipper didn't work. <laughs> okay, can you play the next song, please? You can keep the music going. Thank you. So I spend a lot of my time uh, teaching circus, and I absolutely love my job. And then sometimes it goes terribly wrong. And I'm thinking of once when I was teaching a student, a number of students, and everybody, for the most part, was doing quite well, except for this one little girl. And she was really struggling, and she was not getting any of the patterns that we were learning. And um, I should pause here for a moment and tell you that, like many places, juggling is a very male-dominated sport. Uh, so for example, I went to Quebec um, City for a juggling convention, and pretty much everybody there was a man. And they would have these competitions to see who could juggle the most amount of objects for the longest period of time. I, I told you it was a very masculine space. Um, and I kid you not, the one competition that was won by a woman was called Stupidest Trick. And in it, um, the, she took one of these, which is a juggling pin, and she stuck it between her legs, 
there are kids here, so I'm not gonna do it. And then she took a ring and she put it on the club and she spun it around on, on the club. So I'm gonna let you imagine that for a moment. <laughs> and this won her stupidest trick. Um, and I think it was actually quite a brilliant commentary on the masculinity that was happening there. Back to this little girl. So she is really struggling and eventually she keeps trying, keeps trying, and then she gives up. And uh, she goes and she's, she's got a very forlorn look on her face and she goes and sits off in a corner. She looks very sad. And um, we were playing with these. These are called Chinese yo-yos or diabolos. And she took the cup and she stuck it out in front of her like this and she kind of shook it a little bit. She looked very, very sad. And I, I saw in this a sort of a protest. She took all of the tools that I had given her and she transformed them into her own little protest against this world of juggling and throwing objects and catching them again that she felt left out of. And so I wanted to support her, so I, I kind of dug around in my pocket a little bit. And all I had was my car key. So I took the car key and dropped it in the cup. And I hope that you too will find it in your hearts to be generous enough to donate to her cause by contributing. help, dig deep into your pockets and give whatever you can. Don't worry, at the end of the show you'll get it back. <laughs> I'm not that broke, don't worry. Car keys would be fine, you'll get them back. Oh, a bolt, how generous. <laughs> Anything helps, dig deep, people, please. Thank you, thank you. Oh, very kind, a quarter, anything you've got. Car keys, I'll take them. Oh, the lift cost. Yes, we needed that. Anything, please, helps to support the cause. Oh, help us out here. Oh, a set of car keys, there we go, don't worry. Maybe you'll get an upgrade. <laughs> this is just to help make sure you don't leave during the show. Oh, a watch, perfect. <laughs> Actually, keep that, I need you as my timekeeper. More car keys, oh man. Wow, you all are very trusting. A tissue, well done. Thank you. Oh, we got something else? Oh, a cough drop. You all have been very generous, thank you. I told you she struggled with the juggling. Was that it? <laughs> Still not a magician. So I perform as well, and I get to travel around when I perform. And uh, sometimes I got a lot of stuff with me, and this is a 20 inch unicycle, so it's, it's really not very efficient for riding. 
So sometimes I'm just carrying the unicycle. And the heckle that I get the most often is, can you really ride that thing? Which I think is such a bizarre question. Like, why would I be carrying this around if I couldn't ride it? It's, it's, I mean, <laughs> but then, then I met this person, their name was Porter, and they lived out of a van, and they traveled around, and they had a unicycle, and they'd never learned to ride it. So I guess it just goes to show. Uh, this part of the show was also invented by one of my students, and his name was Lucian. Number one. Um, will you write a B on this? I'm going to give you a piece of chalk one second. Make sure it's straight up and down uh, like this on the black part. Great. Big B. Um, will you write E? Thank you. Uh, you can keep the chalk for now. Um, a. Uh, R. What did we do already? B E A R. B E A R. Uh, what else do we need? Oh. Uh, lowercase d. Um, on yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got those clubs. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome, thank you. You can keep that.
don't you know? Dear audience, the time has come for the literary portion of our show. So this entire show was built around a single image, and I love this image, and I really want to show it to you. One second. Ready? But then I didn't like the act that I made out of it, so I cut it. I also want to point out that a circle is defined by a point right in the middle that is theoretical, doesn't really exist. And you might also say that this show, at the center of this show, are my students, and they're missing. Or you could also say, my pupils. So I suggest that at the very, very end of the show, you come up and you say hi, and you look me right in this eye. And I think that you'll be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Mm. 
mom. I'm, I'm kind of in the middle of a show at the moment. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I love you too. Bye. Um, that was my mom just telling me that it's time for the ring act. We are, 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 we
I'm not balding. My hair just decided to go on permanent vacation. The pimple on my forehead is not a pimple. It's actually left over from when I was a child and I wanted to be a unicorn. I never pick my nose. I was born with it. I always brush my teeth. It's just that sometimes things go terribly wrong. How's my time? You got, you got an eight ten. Yeah. You got ten minutes. Ten minutes. Okay. Whew. Talk with Canadian time or American time? Um, <laughs> West Coast. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So once I performed that routine for a little kid's birthday party, and they really didn't like it. <laughs> and uh, they kept saying, we don't get it. It doesn't make sense. And then at the very end, I went like this. And the whole audience, all together, went, oh. So I don't know what they got. Another time, I was at a festival, and everybody was really liking the show, except for this one little boy. Little boys are the worst. <clears throat> and he kept on shouting out, why are the juggling clubs controlling your life? <laughs> now, I do a lot of improvising, so usually I can come up with something to say to a heckler but I had nothing. That was the best question I've ever gotten, ever. And I've asked myself that question every day since then. Why are the juggling clubs controlling my life? I have no idea, it's stressing me out. I, I finally came up with an answer, uh, but I, I don't think you're gonna like it very much. The answer that I came up with uh, is that it's a transition. I told you you wouldn't like it. <laughs> Oh, don't worry. They're armless. <laughs> Sometimes people tell me to break a leg. I don't think they know how accurate that is. <laughs> Other times, I'm worried that no one's gonna come to the show. So instead I just bring my own audience. Where do those jokers get to? Thank you. The jokers will find your card. That's how many clubs I juggle. <laughs> What's my time? Uh, you got one minute. Oh, good. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you.